got a great question from one of my uh, students today, and I thought I would answer it. And the question is, how do you create a three-state button in Animate? And it's really easy to do, and sometimes it's the simple techniques where you just sort of zing through them to get at the more complicated stuff that people miss. So let's take a look at how this is all done. So I'm going to start in Fireworks by simply creating a button. And all I did was create a rounded rectangle through some text on it. And then using this states panel, created up, over, and down states of the button. And then by going into the states, the really cool thing I can do now is use Fireworks to output the graphics. So all I had to do at this that point was export. And I go to a folder named Images. And basically select Export States to Files. Uh, if I've got some options here, I can add prefixes or suffixes. Uh, because I've got them all set up to optimize as PNG images, that's why the PNG is there. And then trim the images, that takes off all the extra stage width, and away we go. And I can cancel that because I've already exported them. So let's get it over to Animate. So I'll go over to Animate. And what I've done is I've uh, imported the button, the Up button, into the uh, library here. There you can see right there. And then I converted it to a symbol. You can see it's called button.btn or underscore btn. Double click the button symbol. And what I did here was I put a stop action under for each of the states of the button. So I had little uh, labels for up, over, and down. And then put a stop action under each label so that when the mouse moves uh, or does what it's supposed to do, the timeline moves to the respective label. The other thing I did, of course, was turn on or turn off the display property of the object in the library when it was not, not needed. So if I'm sitting with the up button and I come here, you'll notice that the display property is set to off because I don't need to be seeing the up button. And the over button is now visible, and then at this point it's off, but the display property of the down button is on. So I've got all that done. I'm a happy camper, so how do I wire it all up? Well, you go back to the stage. There's the big old button. And what I do here is I add an action for the button. So I just open it. And this is the code. Okay, this is... Uh, what I do for the mouse out, mouse up, mouse down, mouse over, which are all right here, all I do is just choose an event and then add the code. So the first one I did, of course, was mouse up. So it was go get the symbol called button underscore btn and play the up label inside that symbol. Now, the code doesn't change, so all I did was I copied the code to the clipboard and then just added the mouse down and selected the mouse down event from the plus sign here and pasted it and just changed the word up to down. And I did that with the uh, mouse out and the mouse over states as well. Now the mouse out state has the up and what that means with a mouse out is that if the mouse is anywhere outside of the button, the up state will show. So let's take a look at all of that in the browser. So command return, which is test, and there's my button, there's the over, and if I press, there's the down, there's the up, and if I move out, I'm up as well. So there you go, there's how to create a three state button inside of Animate. It's real simple, you just create the three, the three graphics, import them into your Animate project, put one of the buttons on the uh, canvas or the stage, convert it to a symbol, and then in the symbol just make each of, the, each of them visible and put a stop action for each, each state of the button. And then using copy and paste, you add this code right here.